I'm trying to hold it together. I want her to be okay. So bad. We're gonna take care of you. We're gonna be okay. Oh, it's just not my enemy. It feels like my whole stomach is falling out. Good morning, guys. It is about, what time is it? Like 6.45, I just made it to the hospital. Right now, I am about to change into my gown. I actually have somebody special here with me. Um, boom, Eddie King to take care of me today. I really appreciate it because, you know, this is a very scary situation for me, but he pulled up and he made sure to be here with me, so. He's probably going to take over the vlog after this. I'm going to talk to you guys in a minute. I have to change into my gown. But yeah, I just checked in. I'm registered. And today's surgery day. So <sighs> I'm so scared. But I know I got this. God got me. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, so let me just tell you really quickly. I just shaved into my gown or whatever. And yesterday, my actual menstrual decided to show up. And it wasn't due until today or maybe two days after. So not only was I worried and anxious, but I was in excruciating pain. And I couldn't really take a lot of medication. So I'm still in so much pain right now. Um, and hopefully doctor comes in soon and we can get this over with because I'm feeling like I'm about to push a baby out It literally feels like labor all over again So I thought I'd be way more nervous than anything But I guess I'm in so much pain with my freaking period that I can't even be scared because I want this pain to go away They gave me Right, they gave me a little fancy hat but I ain't putting that on yet And they made me change my socks y'all I had on these cute socks So I had to swap out my socks for these it's in the bag. It is? Yeah. Make sure, make sure you take my phone because when I leave out of here, they might take my stuff. So that's what's going on right now. How are you feeling? What's the game plan right now? I'm in a lot of pain. Like, I know you are. It literally feels like my uterus is coming out of my stomach. Literally, I couldn't sleep at all last night. I was tossing and turning. I think I fell asleep at like 12.30 and I was mm. up at 4 o'clock. Mm. It just, it's just constant pain. Sure, you need another minute still? No. now like all the doctors came in i think i saw like three anesthesiologists like yeah like three like literally three of three them. or four i'm like top tier there was like five doctors that came in here but everybody's so nice and my actual surgeon came in he's so amazing shout outs to him um so now i'm just basically preparing for the time i'm scheduled for eight o'clock they put the IV in for me and um i guess after that they're gonna give me some medicine and that's probably gonna be it what's on your mind right now um to be honest i have to keep a positive mind right now even though i'm really nervous so i really wish i could eat a bagel mm. or eat something because i'm starving on top of having menstrual cramps mm -hmm. i'm just trying to keep the faith and know that 
when I wake up, I'm going to be a brand new person, even though it's a journey to recovery. I'm just ready to get it over with because I've been suffering for so long and been too I'm long. so tired of suffering, honestly. So, um, green your pastures are ahead. Green your pastures are okay. So, I just dropped Michelle off. Um, they took her back into surgery. I am. I'm trying to hold it together. I want her to be okay. Um, I got her stuff with me. You know what I mean? Um, I don't even know what to say in terms of it. I'm just. I just want her to be okay. I know you're watching this. Um, I love you. You know, no matter what's going on with us, you know what it is with us. That ain't never going to change. I'm always going to be here for you. And I'm hoping and I'm praying that this whole surgery goes excellent for you. And everything you come out great and everything that you needed from it. I'm going to be honest, y'all. I'm at a loss of words. Oh. All right. Alright, what's going on? What's going on, Simply? What's going on? For y'all, some of y'all who don't know me, um, I'm Michelle's, um, uh, I'm, I'm her child's father. Um, <sighs> Michelle went in to the surgery. She met with, like, a billion doctors. They cleared her for everything. She was good. She made sure everything was, they made sure everything was good with her. I asked a thousand questions. Um, they should be calling me. I am... Um, pins and needles. I'm so anxious right now. I know that she is like going through it right now, and I know that she needs prayers. And you know, we pray together. Everybody, please, you know, in the comment section down below, throw your throw your praying hands in the chat for her. Th throw your prayers out for her everywhere. Everybody, everywhere. I'm on pins and needles until they call me and they tell me that she's good and she's out of surgery and she's made it all the way through. Um. I'm nervous. I will be honest. I'm just, just you know, when you get when you care about somebody and you, you know, you anxious and you don't. There's the unknown, the fear, of the unknown, and I'm gonna be back on here with y'all talking to y'all, letting y'all know what's going on with her, her progress, little update stuff like that. So I'll be back with y'all. What's going on, y'all? Um, I'm back again. It's probably about three and a half hours. Um, they took Michelle in at about eight o'clock. It's about 11.30, um, her surgeon just called and said that the surgery went fantastic and everything's great and now they're waiting for her to go from recovery back to her regular room, so that's what we're waiting for. I'm waiting for the call on that. I'm thankful I was crying tears of joy, I ain't gonna lie. Um, I, th I thank God, thank everyone for their prayers. Um, I know Michelle's gonna thank y'all. We're gonna see her very soon, um, you know, stay tuned. What's going on? It's now, it's, it is now, what time is it? I'm now, it's two o'clock on the dot. They called me right now. They said that they're bringing Michelle back to, um, the area where I could come to her and be with her. Um, I'm on my way right now. I'm happy. I'm excited. Y'all gonna see her right now. Like I said, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Here we are. Fresh in the surgery room. She's out, of, so she's out of commission right now. She's in pain. <laughs> it hurts so bad. We're gonna take care of you. We're gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. I'm trying to hold this on my own. I'm really yeah. sleepy. But. I think I made it. Do you think I made it? You made it, you're here. Uh, I just wanted to try to talk to you guys, but I'm sleepy, so. Why do you have your hand out? I don't want a five. I'm not giving you a five if you drop the Eddie's camera. Eddie's giving I... me a high five. Why no, you I'm not. Me a high five? If, if you drop the camera, I don't want you to hit your operation area. Oh. Yeah. So maybe you can hold the camera. That's what I was trying to do, but you, you wanted to hold it, so. Uh, oh, boy. My throat hurts. Right. <coughs> Enough with the tough questions. Uh, Who's the president? Joe Biden. Okay, good. I thought he was going to say Obama. 
She's tired, y'all. Y'all got it here first. We got the truth serum. I just had to do that. Sorry. You got the serum? Yeah, she you on the truth serum. You'll be here answering questions. I don't know what they gave, but whatever it is, it got me out like a light. <laughs> like a light. Like a light? It got me like, whoa. I was singing, oh, happy day. Because it's a happy day today. It's a happy day. I don't know what you think. It's so bad. I can't. I can't take it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long you live that way? This pain is so bad. It's so unbearable. I don't know why I'm beeping, but I don't know it's just on my enemy. It feels like my whole stomach is falling out. I couldn't go to the bathroom so I had to get a catheter and I couldn't pee. I threw up. It was so bad. Uh, too much medicine. I don't know. I, can, I can't even stand up. I'm going to stand up so I can go home. But every time I stand up, my legs just, they give out on me.